Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Panibagong Araw. Panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon. Pero bago yun, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at ihit mo na yung bell button sa baba para updated ka every time na mag-post ako ng bagong video. So gusto ko ulit magpasalamat sa lahat ng viewers and subscribers ko sa patuloy na pagtutok sa aking math tutorial video. At dahil dyan, naisipan ko magkaroon ng... Tawagan kung paano ko kayo tatawagin para every time na mag intro ako, yun ang tatawag ko sa inyo. So, tatawagin ko kayo mga mathmates. So, math plus classmate equal mathmates. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel, mga mathmates. So, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa slope of a line. What you will learn Define the slope of a line. Describe the slope of a line and find the slope of a graph. So what is slope? Slope is the rate of change of a line. Slope equals rise over run. So that will be our formula. Slope equals change in y over change in x. Therefore, slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, paano tayo nag-come up sa pinaka-formula ng slope? So, tignan yung figure. Ayan. So, bago tayo nag-come up sa y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, meron tayo dang straight diagonal line. Kung mapapansin nyo, para makuha kung gaano ka-steep yung isang line or kung gaano siya katarik, kailangan natin makuha yung change in y, yung kanyang rise, yung difference ng y at yung difference ni x. So that's why nag up tayo sa formula na y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. It's just subtracting the values of x and the values of y para makuha natin yung slope. What does the line look like when we have a positive slope? So, ganito po yung itsura when the slope is positive, it is going up to the right. Again, kapag positive slope, diagonal yung ating line, it is going up to the right. Kapag naman negative slope, kabaliktaran. So, it is going up to the left. Or kung mapapansin nyo, sa line siya ay pababa. Okay? Kapag naman zero slope, the line is horizontal. Again, kapag zero slope, the line is horizontal. Kapag naman no slope, so ang line ay vertical. Okay, tatandaan lamang kung ano yung uh, itsura ng ating line. I think this will be the best example para mas maintindihan nyo yung slope. Slope Mountain Sky Resort. So, yun sa una nating figure, sabi dan, positive slope. So, meaning to say, positive work. Kung magay, pwede siyang i-integrate sa physics, no? Kapag ikaw ay pataas, it requires more work. Kaya siya ay positive. Okay? It requires more energy for you to climb. Kapag naman pababa, you have a negative slope. You have a negative work. Or, kung i-integrate uh, natin sa physics, it requires less energy. So, therefore, that is a less work. Kapag naman, horizontal line, horizontal line, zero slope is zero fun. As in, straight lang siya. Straight. Parang there's no trail. Kapag naman no slope, ayan, pababa. So, wala namang nag-ice skating ng ganan pababa na derecho. Ayan. So, takalit na, oh no, pambaga, mauhulog ka na. 
I think that will be the best example for stoop. So, what type of stoop is shown? Sige nga, identify natin kung anong color ng line yung nagpapakita ng positive slope. Okay, so we have yung line na kulay red. How about the negative slope? Yung color blue. How about the zero slope? We have the green. How about the no slope? By the way, no slope or undefined. That is the orange line. So we already described the slope. Now, when the slope is positive or negative, we need to find the actual value of the slope or rate of change. On a graph, we find slope using the formula rise over run. So we will be starting to get the slope of a line by a graphical presentation. Kapag rise, how far up or down it changes. Kapag naman run, how far, fra, uh, how far the distance left or right. The first thing we should do is to first pick two points on the line. The points need to be where the lines cross so they are integers. So meron tayo ditong line, pipili lang tayo ng dalawang point. And take note, kailangan yung point na pipiliin natin ay whole number dapat yung value. Then, find the rise and run. So, yung rise natin, pwedeng pataas, pwedeng pababa. So, this time ay pababa yung ating rise, which is 2. And then, yung ating run is going to the right. We have 3 units. And then lastly, determine if the slope of the line is positive or negative. So is it positive or negative? So that is a negative slope. So therefore, just substitute rise over run. We have two thirds. We have negative two thirds. So that will be the value of our slope. Negative two thirds. Okay, so let's have another example. So for example, we have here another line. Again, we need to pick two points on the line. The points need to be where the lines cross, so they are integers. Again, kailangan yung pipiliin nating point ay whole number. So hindi dapat tayo pumili ng point na nasa line na hindi sakto para mas madali natin makuha yung value ng stoop. Then, find the rise and the run. Yung ating rise, it goes up. So we have 10 units. And then, ang ating run to the right is two units. Again, yung ating rise ay 10 units. Ang ating run ay 2 units. Determine if the slope of the line is positive or negative. That is positive. Therefore, our slope is 10 over 2. So, 10 divides 2 is 5. So, as easy as that. We just remember the three steps or just count the rise over the run for you to be able to solve for the value of our slope. Okay, for your activity, so slope of a graph line, so you need to use the formula rise over run. So find the slope of each line below. So, how many lines do we have? So, we have 5 lines. You just get a piece of paper and then you just write your final answer there. And then, we will be revealing the answers.
Okay, so let us check your work for line na color red. We have 4 over 4 or 1. For green line, we have 0 over 6 or 0. For blue line, we have negative 8 over 2 or negative 4. For orange line, we have 3 fourths. And for the last one is pink, we have 2 over 0 or undefined. So that ends our lesson for today. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification para updated ka sa ating next video. So thank you for watching.